Finally, what is your relationship with homosexuals like the president alleges and foreigners? Well, that is nonsense. It is a shame. It is really disrespectful to be talking to a married man who is married to a woman who you know. You continue. I feel, I feel um, insulted to be drawn in sexual talk with whoever when we have a few hours to lead to an election. General Seveni has always tried to paint us with any negativity, with violence and with what, whatever. He cannot convince people anymore, okay? You know I'm a married man. You know I'm a cultural man that would rather come to this national TV and use this, uh, these last minutes to talk about um, how best we are intending to peacefully, constitutionally, and non-violently liberate ourselves. But you're driving us into sexual talk, which to me, I find very, very um, diversionary, okay? We are being supported by Ugandans. General Museveni can talk about uh, whatever I saw him today, trying to change the narrative, uh, trying to be a younger person, etc., etc. Why? Because he does not have anything more to tell Ugandans. I am telling Ugandans that we are uh, a, a, third, a, a 21st uh, century generation that need 21st century solutions. I'm telling people which already they know that uh, we want to bring the, back the rule of law and respect for the rights of the citizens. We want to end arbitrary arrests. As we speak right now, Nubian Lee, Eddie Mutue, and more than 100 other of our supporters are in jail for committing no crime. You are not talking about them. You are asking me about uh, homosexuals. Come on, Simon. Don't be one of the journalists that are being used to divert the pain of the people of Uganda by bringing around nonsense other than talking about sense and other than bringing the pain of Ugandans on the forefront. <laughs>